When NASA envisioned a space-based telescope called Hubble, Ball Aerospace was called on to build the optical instruments. When the James Webb Infrared Telescope was conceived, Ball was chosen to build the mirrors. And when the planet-hunting spacecraft named Kepler was imagined, Ball was selected to build the photometer. Where Kepler is advancing our understanding of exoplanets, Ball Aerospace is looking at a new kind of technology, the diffractive optical element that you see behind me, to further advance our understanding in areas of targeted science. That type of targeted science could benefit from a replicated diffractive optics approach to telescopes that has been proven to work by Ball Aerospace. MORI is the Membrane Optical Imager for Real-Time Exploitation. It's a program that DARPA sponsored here at Ball Aerospace and Technologies Corporation. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, asked Ball to demonstrate a large space telescope 20 meters in diameter, based on lightweight diffractive membranes that would reduce cost and schedule compared to conventional telescopes. This is a replicated diffractive optic that's made on a membrane. And how would membrane technology benefit telescope design? To find out what that really means, we can compare it to the Hubble Space Telescope primary, which is two and a half meters in diameter, and the James Webb Space Telescope primary, which is going to be six and a half meters in diameter. So we're talking about a huge leap forward in the technology in terms of getting to that larger size. The ultra lightweight membrane is thinner than a human eyelash and weighs seven times less than reflective systems of similar size. The membranes also do not require polishing like mirrors. These two factors make a membrane telescope approximately 10 times less expensive to build than a traditional telescope. And then we can tailor the properties of the membrane in order to meet the requirements of the telescope. For the DARPA demonstration, Ball built a prototype that proved its diffractive membrane telescope can provide persistent surveillance at meter scale resolution in a real-time scenario from geosynchronous orbit. That's just one of many applications. The replicated diffractive optics could also be used for a lot of other technologies. For example, it could be used for laser communications, where the large aperture enables us to get a lot more data at a higher data rate from further away. So for example, from Europa, other uses include Earth observation with LIDAR, exoplanet spectrometry, and targeted astronomy missions. Ball's telescope design uses a deployable diffractive aperture mounted at one end of three deployable booms. The primary unfolds like an umbrella after the booms are deployed from the spacecraft where the remainder of the imaging system optics are mounted. This technology is really exciting for the capability it gives us for surveillance and also in enhancing our ability to do certain kinds of science. It could give us information that enhances our understanding of the universe and its history and really where we belong in the universe.